Okay, so I wasn't feeling a lot of this week's episode of Supergirl. But that doesn't mean I hated it. In fact, there were some beautiful character moments, too. Here are four character moments that resonated in Changing. Number one, Alex exploring her sexuality. I mentioned this in my recap and review, but it bears repeating. Alex Danvers coming out and coming to terms with that decision is one of the most real depictions of this process I've ever seen on mainstream TV. From the way she told Kara, only to want to stop talking about it, to her giddy feelings about finally feeling open enough to show Maggie how she feels, to her heartbreaking backpedaling when the situation with Maggie doesn't go the way she wanted, actress Kyler Lee is tracking all of those nuanced moments perfectly. Number two, Wynn stands up for himself. I didn't mention this in my review, but I loved that in this episode, Wynn not only stood up to James in letting him know that if he expects Wynn to make him a suit, he needs to trust Wynn as to when it's ready, but he embraced the ways in which he's a hero. Wynn's been making this case for a bit now, but in this episode, he really owns the fact that he does not think less of himself because he's the brains or the gadget guy. He knows his value, and he needs James to know it too, if they're going to work together. There are many ways to be a hero, and win shot definitely qualifies. Number three, Magan conflicted about helping Jean. One of the smaller but nonetheless important elements of this week's episode was Magan being enlisted to help a dying Jean Jones with a blood transfusion. In episode four of this season, Survivors, we learn that Magan isn't actually a green Martian at all but a white Martian. While she's hiding this from Jean, in that episode, she tells the story of a white Martian who broke rank. The fact that she doesn't seem to want to kill Jean makes me think that she's that white Martian. Now, she's given Jean her blood. Now he has white Martian blood coursing through his veins. I'm looking forward to watching their relationship develop, and I'm looking forward to getting to know her better as a character. There's clearly a lot of history there. Number four, Monel's not just a pretty face. Sure, Monel seems like a slacker who's only interested in partying and sex. However, I can't shake the story he shared with the team at the DEO about how the prince he was supposed to protect ended up dying while saving him. His adamance about not wanting to be a hero stems from the fact that he probably doesn't think he is one or can be one based on past performance. Suddenly, his day drinking seems more understandable. And it was heartbreaking that just when he finally decides to try this hero thing on, he gets abducted by Cadmus, which will likely only further discourage him from doing good. That is, if Cadmus doesn't turn him downright evil first. Despite this week's episode being a little weaker than the rest of the season, there was just enough great character development to keep us entertained. Whose journey are you most into? Let us know at the Mary Sue's Twitter or in the comments below. See you next time!